Hello, everybody. Welcome to, uh... Today we're gonna do something different. I do you tell me how to live stream. Um... We're playing Outlast. Except, we're not gonna do the insane mode. Or even normal Outlast. be playing the whistleblower DLC on normal. I have not played this in a absurdly long time. And quite frankly, I can't remember jack shit about it. So, that's why I'm not doing insane mode on this. Uh, that'd be absolute suicide. And while this is going on, I'm gonna go plug in my phone. to wake up, but open your eyes. What's the matter? Did somebody hit you? Here, let me help. Andrew, you getting these alerts? Kind of busy here. It sounds like real trouble. At the engine, they said Hope made a lateral ascension. What did Hope? They're not happy about it? No. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. What are you doing in here? Christ, Waylon, hurry up. They're waiting on you. Ah, they're cutting it close. Next page is incoming in arterial spin. They've got Galuskin out of his cell. Page him again. Park. Finally. Where have you been? Functional imaging in faces and talking to the ASL. We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside I his head. Call into the chamber, ask them to delay. No, I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is gonna have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? Yes. Steve. Are we happy, Mr. Park? Yes. Uh, Steve? FMRI is still dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Whalen Park? Which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. Fuck me, they're bringing him in. Yourself. This is a high security. It's all right, agent. 
this depart was just surprised. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Take your seat. Quickly, Mr. Park. Head will need to roll if the fusion monitoring is not active when we put him in the engine. This Five seconds. Is a bit, this DLC is a bit much, so Three. I am going to have to change the script in, so. Our serial spin labeling is back online. Good. Positioning imaging plane. You're finished, Mr. Wayland Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty in my review of your performance. You need your exit to room, sir. Stories outside of class. On the floor! Down! Hands where I can see him! Mr. Whalen Park. Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid, in fact. That was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Did you hear that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. Great. Oh, and... Uh, did I just hear Mr. Whalen Park volunteer for the Morphogenic Engine program? Well, that's what I heard, Mr. Blair. That was brave indeed, Whalen. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. <laughs> Four weeks, brain filled with static. They made me watch the engine. I have to help. I have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence of what it does, what I couldn't, exposes the truth. Lisa, baby, I'm sorry. I screwed up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I screwed up bad. <laughs>
therapy session. Here, take the blade. Shoot around in our friend here. Get a little red on your hands. It's always healthy to express yourself. You keep it bottled up too long and you might do something you regret. No. You want to lose? Too good for the likes of us? Think you're different? Something special? There are no observers here. Now! Get the fuck out of here before I change my mind. Electronic, I can make it talk. Make it work. Make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was subtlety. Like you always said, I thought leaking information to a few journalists was the safer way. I didn't want to spotlight the attention. Murkoff is dangerous. I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa. For the boys. But I have to expose what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. The radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broke. It's too broken. Too dangerous. You're not thinking straight. Let me make something clear. You try to radio outside for help. I'm gonna give you a whole new something to be scared of. Are you threatening me? Yes. it out of this. And that's actual straight fact.
this on how bad it's My body, Lisa, when I die, when you finish the lawsuits that let you pry this footage from her cop's army of lawyers and corporate henchmen, don't let make them show you my body. Just bury it or burn it. Let my sons remember me whole. That man is eating flesh. He looks at me and I see anger, a little inspired, but more than anything, hunger. Please don't make them show you my body. for specifically a concern in a lawsuit by Miller. At the time of Miss Coe's extermination, the, psycho the psychotic effects of the mercy of on female employees and patients had been well established for already more than seven decades. Fictitious half-term pregnancy. Uh, yeah. Alright, you just read these on your own. I'm not going to read through the documents.
Far be it from me to lie to a man of God, so let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients. And if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply let us know and we can either increase chemicals to restraints or administer a lobotomy or some autonomy procedure. Don't underestimate the contribution of your service offer our patients. Especially considering the depth and necessary, necessarily chaotic nature of pathogenic therapy, our patients need the bedrocks of God and family. Not all of our poor fortunates have family to call upon. And so, the burden and calling is yours. We are all, we are all of us, relying on your faith and help. I know I said I wouldn't read them all, but I'll read some. For now, uh, I don't know what to do, and I quite frankly don't like knowing that, not knowing what to do, because, uh, yeah, that, it, it scares the crap out of me, and I don't want to die of painful and horrible deaths, yet I will. So, I hope you all enjoyed that first episode of Pain and Suffering. I will see you all next time, hope you all enjoyed. And catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.